Hello, this is Damir for the Droid Effect and today I'm going to do my first custom ROM review which we will be about Uke Xylan. First of all I want to mention there will be two versions of this review available. One short one for all the people who already know custom ROMs and just want to know which features are, awa are available and one longer in-depth version where I will go into detail about every little feature for maybe people who don't know exactly what which feature does. So let's just start. This is the team by the way. Okay, first thing, it has the dark UI. If you open the Play Store you have the usual white one. If you go to dark UI, it will be black. This will all this will be pretty much available for all the other Google apps. Now let's get into the U tool. This is where all the features and tweaks can be customized. Let's just show off what is available. In the general UI you have CRT screen on off, hide extras, disable full screen keyboard, auto keyboard rotation, the recent RAM bar, show menu, UI overflow and hardware keys. You would have hardware keys if the Nexus 7 would have any, but for other devices which this ROM is also available, you can use these. Lock screen options, you have screen security, you can select a different background, you have the lock screen tint color, you can make the lock screen see through, you can select the sliders. The good thing is on this ROM you have all eight available, not like on some only five. Really happy about that. You can customize the clock widget, maximize widget, hide the initial page hints, use widget carousel, allow all widgets, allow unlimited widgets, battery status, allow lock screen rotation, you have some additional options for the lock screen which is also available only for devices with buttons like menu, home, long press unlock, vibrate and delete delay. The navigation bar. Of course this ROM has to use the AOKP navigation bar just because it's the best one available. It has the most options, you can select up to seven buttons, long press options for every button, you have the hidden navbar, this also means this is the very latest version of the navbar. A lot older ones, especially ROMs which don't have the newest version, don't have all these features. Let's get to the navigation ring. You have up to five rings, of course long press. The next nice thing here, you have two pies available, the slim pie and the parallel pie. You can choose which one to appear. The slim pie for those of who of of those of you you who, who know who don't know it, this is Paranoid Pie on steroids. You can customize the buttons, the design, everything else. You can even select a second layer. Ribbon options are available. One thing to mention: these are also the very latest ones, with some nice extra options like changing the swipe area, long press, the ribbon handle location, the animation. A lot of ROMs still don't have this, but as I will say later, this ROM is the best feature packed ROM I have yet to see. Themes, of course, themes are available. Battery, you can pretty much, you see, change everything. Same goes for the clock. You can select the clock to be a button with three actions, uh, short click, long click and double click. Signal bar can also be customized in color and style and such. Quick toggles. Here you have the AOKP traditional style which you can see here. And also the, the usual one you know from Jelly Bean. I prefer the traditional ones because like you see it doesn't take up any space. That's a pretty nice thing. If you use the tiles though you can customize it. You can even have the random style colors where every tile has a different color. And if there, let's just show you one thing, there are unlimited, almost unlimited toggles available, you see. And if you don't have one, you can just create a custom toggle. Next thing is the power widget, which is pretty much the traditional quick settings, but this is the CyanogenMat solution, which is a bit more limited. Status bar ex extras are an option to choose the color of the icons, the, sp the bar itself, the transparency for the status and navigation bar on the home screen. Let's check that. You see it's completely transparent. 
if you go back and set well, uh, to 100 you have solid black again okay let's get it back other options would be the status bar brightness slider where you can select your brightness we are swiping across the status bar custom courier label status bar behavior you have show height and auto height quick peek option expanded desktop of course you have halo pretty much the latest version bug fixed and everything's working if you want to use it then you have show wi-fi network notification behavior choose notification background i already use one you can see it right here you can change the alpha and reset the paper hybrid properties would be pretty much the same as the paranoid android preferences it just looks a bit and slightly works different you have dpi groups now not like on Paranoid Android where you have to select for every app. It's pretty handy sometimes because you mostly use maybe four or five groups and you can pretty quickly change between those and not always have the slider to select it. LED options which aren't available on the Nexus 7. Power menu options you have expanded desktop, airplane mode, profile, screenshot, torch, navigation bar, volume states, reboot option to lock and power of lock screen. Okay, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Other things I wanted to say, in terms of speed, it's about very pretty much the best ROM I've used. Especially the RAM management is really great. You see, I have 396 megabytes of RAM left. Okay, I don't use very much apps here, but usually if I use a lot of apps, I don't get below 300. The very the ROM is very responsive. I can't say it is lag free because it's a Nexus 7 and, and the Nexus 7 because of the tag free always lags but as much as you can get out of the Nexus 7 this ROM provides it and I'm sure on other devices the performance will be even better if the device has better specs. And another thing I wanted to mention is the support of this team. Let's show you right quick. Here's the team. They provide a very good Google Plus community. If you have any question or any problem, just go there, ask, and you will pretty quickly get an answer or help. Special thanks to Robert McGregor, who provides me always with the latest nightlies. Yep, that's so much for now. If you liked my review, give me a thumbs up. And like I said, if you want an in-depth, detailed review about Check out my long version, which will be a bit available a little bit later. Otherwise, if there's something to say, please just leave me a comment. Okay, bye.